Alrighty, welcome back to another video. So, the Challenge Festival 1 is back, finally, and there is a new hero, so we can have a look and see what is it all about. So, Black Caesar. <laughs> okay, there's actually a couple new ones as well, there's a couple new costumes as well, and, and, and I think bef uh, I'll, I'll start with Black Caesar first. Let's have a look at who he is. Black Caesar, 5 star red cleric. Of the pirate family, so bonus for 2, 3, 4, 5 heroes. Uh, 3, 6, 10, 15% attack, 2, 4, 7, 12% mana generation. Um, pretty dated in terms of the uh, family bonus, but I think if you have, um, I think maybe 3 three heroes i think that would that would cover either three of um uh, or four heroes i think that that would cover pretty much cover the uh the mana bonus that you would get from a bard uh i think it's four or five actually which is not really what you want but uh in some cases i guess maybe you can make use out of it pirates vengeance average speed Deals 335 damage to all enemies, summons a pirate skeleton fiend for all enemies. The fiend damages the enemy with 90% attack each every turn. The pirate skeleton fiend absorbs healing. It disappears after absorbing a healing amount equal to 40% of its target's maximum health. When summoned, the pirate skeleton fiend gives negative 45% attack for its owner for as long as the owner has pirate skeleton fiends. This effect can't be cleansed. With an Aether Power of Revive, which is very rare, I think you only see it in a few. Uh, Teddy Sherry is the main one that comes to mind. So what do I think about Black Caesar? So first of all, in the beta, it was actually slow. <laughs> now they made it, now in slow, when it was slow, it was pretty trash. I mean, uh, sure, I think the numbers were a bit different in terms of the Fiend, but I think now with average speed, 335% damage to all enemies is actually pretty good. And you leave this kind of Fiend, which... Absorbs 40% health, 40% uh, healing, which is actually really good. Uh, usually, you'll see about 28%, 28 to 30%. 40% is actually really huge amount. It's quite a huge amount. Uh, negative 45% attack. You see this in a hero like Ukanen as well, which uh, gives, I think it's negative 34% attack or something like that. Um... This one makes it such that you would actually need to have two healers, I think. Um, a hero like Milena, for example, doesn't heal. Uh, and you see Milena used a lot in offense. Milena doesn't heal this. Riz doesn't heal the, the, attack, the attack down enough because you need to heal 40% of your maximum health. And, and that's, really, that's really something here. I think, I think it's something to, to, to say about how big these fiends are at average speed uh, which makes him really relevant now i think in the meta especially at tank uh, whether he's at tank or he's at flank because that 335 percent damage it's much much more than ukunen so ukunen i would say he's only really good at a, at tank where you know you could you could kind of protect the flanks from getting their buffs dispelled Black Caesar, you could pretty much put him in flank or you can put him at tank and it still hurts like hell. Like, you, you, sure, you would force to bring a taunt against him, which is the same if you were to bring with uh, Ukonen. But his fiends are actually quite, quite painful. And if you combine this with someone like Brimstone, for example, uh, if you have, like, let's say, for example, Brimstone on the left flank and then you have Black Caesar on the right, and if they both fire, it's, I think it's... It might be close to a team wipe, actually, uh, considering that Brimstone gives uh, negative defense against fire. So really decent hero, I, I would say. It's not a, it's not like you know mind blowing or anything, but it can be it can be used both in defense and offense, and I think that's where uh, you know you would want heroes to be these days. He has enough juice in him, like 13, 1314 defense. 2442 health i think he'll you know pretty much be relevant the cleric the cleric class is also quite pretty good as well so i can see him being used in offense and defense at the same time you can use like um you can bring stuff like mana accelerators you can even combine him with like say for example um costume finley which is of the same one pirates you can even com uh, combine him with n for example yeah, that would hurt like hell. That, that would actually bring his average down to pretty much, you know, be able to go at fast speed at some at some point. So yeah, pretty decent. 
pretty pretty decent now there are new uh, costumes that we can have a look at i think the first one is costume sargasso and uh, there's also peters and there's also lady log so let's have a look at peters first um so definitely added, added stats um same pirate family costume bonus i'm so sad that the four star uh costume bonus did not get the same treatment as the five stars uh that would make heroes like guardian you know guardian jackal and guardian falcon no guardian falcon doesn't have a costume uh you can make stuff like the new cheshire cat costume those pretty make it pretty relevant and even peters also would be relevant because getting silence for three turns and now with an added 24 de uh, negative 24 percent defense you can kind of use him in uh not just in four star raid tournaments but also in uh in wars as well because the silence actually helps a lot yeah so it's just basically an added they just buffed him by adding that negative defense down which is pretty good all right the next one we have is lady lock so uh initially she doesn't have an initial damage she just basically uh you know deals damage over four turns to the target and nearby enemies and you cleanse status ailments from all allies now with the costume she's a fighter class she deals a little bit damage <laughs> a small initial damage and then you have that uh receive you know 1467 damage over four turns uh and at the same time remember they have this poison on special skill as well which uh, uh which stacks with her uh, damage as well damage over time so relevant not really but uh i think you know those who have lady lock and if you have already maxed her i think you'll be pretty happy to get the costume bonus as well so remember the costume bonus look at this 17 percent attack 17 percent defense 30 percent health and five percent mana bonus it's actually pretty good the final one is costume sargasso so initially i think he did um there's only two lines here and now they have an additional one they get water damage and not only that they get a hundred percent decrease for any healing uh, as opposed to 90 percent so you know a great combo together with uh the black caesar that we saw which means you can't three of your targets can't heal so it can be pretty good the only problem i have with him is that he's average and he hits three that it's not an even distribution because normally you would see um somewhere along the lines of 400 percent damage to a target and nearby enemies and not minor damage so this one minor damage makes it such that you can't cleanly kill three uh, when you're combining this with other heroes for example with double costume domitia or any other uh purples that you have that can div give defense down uh, to kind of combo with him uh, but still a welcome you know uh a welcome costume in order to boost up the stats of the previously you know forgotten saga so hey there's that revive uh either power as well uh yeah so you know i guess those who have him will be pretty happy that he has a costume if you get him you know that's good but all the same i do not think that any of these heroes are worth chasing um not to say that you know they're they're not good or anything like that i mean if naturally the natural inclination is of course to get black caesar uh but him being the only one that's featured that is good out of you know sargasso and frog prince uh, not incentivized enough to kind of pull but anyways we do have uh so i just finished the challenge event uh so we do have some pools here i guess this will be the last uh pools that we have for a while so i guess you know what uh black caesar seems nice i do have rings so yeah let's go let's let's fill up one chest and then we'll call it a day um i have still quite a few heroes here that i'm actually lacking uh still hoping still putting that hope out for guardian hippo uh, but obviously, you know, not being featured means it's highly unlikely that you'll get anything. Oh dear, Captain of Diamonds, you show up so many times. I've even forgotten what you what you usually do. And hey, we're getting all we're getting Vortnik, a three star pirate. Can we get a five star pirate after this? Who knows? Who knows? Hey, three star pirate again. Are we are we getting there? Are we building up to the concerto? No not really 
Man, Lancelot used to be so fun and now it's just hopeless. Hey, costume Hansel. I already have one level. It's pretty fun to use in tournaments. <sighs> Looks like we're not getting anything. Well, in any case, uh, good luck to anybody who's pulling. You know, good luck if you if you're looking for Black Caesar to complete your collection. Uh, and if you've already got him, well, congrats. And that is about it. <laughs> Trivial. Alright, so let's see. Oh, we do have a Mystic Summon, so maybe that's where our luck will change. I don't know. Alright, uh, let's... I don't know. I, I actually have no idea what the... Uh, what the Mystic Summon entails. I do believe it's just basically an additional pool. And I... I'm pretty much doubtful that they will give you anything good with a normal, with a mystic summon like this. Uh, but who knows, you know what, I'll just put this in the video, tag it in the end, and let's see what we can get. Oh, come on. Alright. Three star. <laughs> Alright. Well... Uh, good luck with your pulls. I'll catch you guys in the next video. GG.